I'm Samantha Kennett and I am one of the wildlife technicians and rehabilitators here at the Chattahoochee Nature Center in Roswell, Georgia. So we have six venomous snakes in the state of Georgia. In the metro area, the only one you will typically come across is the copperhead. But we also, throughout the state, we have the diamondback rattlesnake, the timber rattlesnake, coral snake, copperhead, and the cottonmouth. They like to hang out a lot of times in brush piles, um, rodent burrows. In South Georgia, they often inhabit gopher tortoise burrows. So in a variety of habitats, really. Some people say you can tell by if they have a triangular shaped head, but if you come across a non-venomous water snake and their heads are very triangular shaped and non-venomous snakes will actually flatten their heads out to look a little more dangerous. So it's really important to be aware of the native venomous snakes in your area. Know what a copperhead looks like. Be able to see one and say, yes, that is a copperhead. I know what I'm looking at. So keeping a good distance, observe from a distance, because it's cool when you see a snake. It means you have a healthy ecosystem, they're keeping rodents down, but if you'd like to deter them from your yard, you can always spray them lightly with a hose. If they've made their way into your house, you can sweep them out gently with a broom, um, and you can always contact Chattahoochee Change Center or other people who work with reptiles to get information on what should I do? This is the snake in my home. What snake is this? The majority of the time when people are bitten by a snake, it's because they are handling the snake or trying to kill the snake, or trying to move the snake. Being hands off, your chances of being bit by a snake are reduced drastically. If they're in tall grass or bushes, so wearing closed toed shoes is one way to keep from being bitten. Um, and just being aware of your surroundings too. They're not gonna chase you, they're not gonna attack you. They, they see us as bigger and scarier predators, so they don't want anything to do with us. They'd like to keep their distance. They'd like to stay hidden. So really just wide berth and go around them. I have an Eastern King Snake to share with you guys today. These guys are top predators. They, they're a keystone species in our ecosystem. They keep everything balanced. They keep rodents populations under control. And if you, if you have snakes in your yard, it means you have a, a balanced ecosystem happening around you. But they're also just such an important part of our ecosystem and, and maintaining rodents. If you, if you kill a snake or remove a snake from your yard, you're opening up that spot. You're creating a vacuum where another snake is gonna come in or suddenly you might have more rodents in your yard. So just like any other animal that's in our ecosystem, in our environment, they all play a very important role. And they're really cool to see. <laughs> You'd really want to see them.